Call of Duty 4 is one of the most important shooters of this console generation. Not only did it revolutionize the Call of Duty franchise, but it also introduced many aspects into the genre that have been used in countless games since. Now we're going to take a look at how the game was received when it first came out, and how it holds up to today's standards. We're taking a look back at Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. When Call of Duty 4 first came out, it was widely considered to be one of the best looking games of its time and it's hard to argue against that. When it came out, it was competing with games such as Halo 3, the original Mass Effect, and the first Gears of War game, all of which were impressive looking games in their own right, but Call of Duty 4 was certainly better looking than the rest of them. It had better textures, better character models, better lighting. Call of Duty 4 for its time was a gorgeous game. Of course, looking back at it now, it's hard to see the beauty in it. More recent Call of Duty games like Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3 have certainly blown it out of the water, and games in completing franchises, such as Battlefield 3, have blown Call of Duty as a whole franchise out of the water graphically. Looking back at it, Call of Duty 4's visuals are certainly dated, but for its time, it was certainly a great looking game. When Call of Duty 4 first came out, it was praised for more than just its graphics. It was also considered to have one of the better stories in the first-person genre at that time. Looking back, though, the story, while good, certainly isn't anything impressive by today's standards. But part of the problem is that the story points used in Call of Duty 4 have since become such huge cliches in the first-person shooter genre. When Call of Duty 4 came out, plot points like a Russian dictator trying to take over the world, nuclear warfare, and things of that nature weren't the same tired story cliches that they are nowadays. And honestly, those plot points have probably become so cliched largely in part to Call of Duty 4's enormous success. When it came out, it still wasn't the best storyline on the market, but it was certainly more innovative than many Call of Duties that have followed, many of which have actually coasted on the same general plot line as Call of Duty 4. Again, first-person shooters that follow a similar plot line these days are considered derivative and cliched, but Call of Duty 4 wasn't derivative and cliched because it's largely the game responsible for making those plot points a cliche. As good as all those things are, the real reason Call of Duty 4 is so fondly remembered is for its huge innovations in gameplay and multiplayer. How do those innovations stack up to the gameplay of current titles? Exceptionally well, given the fact that many of Call of Duty 4's mechanics have since become the basis for almost every first-person shooter to come out in the six years since. Things such as two-weapon limits, constant sprinting availability, Things of that nature, iron sights, the automatic lock-on provided to players, regenerating health, all of those mechanics were popularized largely due to Call of Duty 4, and those mechanics are still used, at least in some part, in almost every first-person shooter released today. So as far as mechanics go, Call of Duty 4 still stacks up extremely well to the competition. As far as the multiplayer, Call of Duty 4's multiplayer is certainly bare-bones compared to modern blockbusters like Black Ops 2, Battlefield 3, and Halo 4, but it came out six years ago, and for its time, it was, much like its single-player gameplay, revolutionary. Perks, persistent unlocks, camo patterns, and many of the modes was, were all revolutionary when the game came out. Multiplayer on that scale and of that quality really just hadn't been seen outside of the Halo franchise. And even some of the things in the Halo franchise have since been stolen from Call of Duty 4's framework. It's hard to argue against Call of Duty 4's importance, at, le at least as a multiplayer title. Regardless of how you feel about the game on its own, its historical impact is hard to argue against. So, how does it stack up in comparison to the more recent entries in the franchise? Some might argue against me, but to be honest, I think Call of Duty 4 is one of the best in the franchise. My personal preference has always been to World at War, but COD 4 is still certainly one of the best. See, in my opinion, the more recent Call of Duties have gone too over the top in trying to be a Michael Bay video game. Call of Duty 4 still had its over the top set pieces, but it balanced them out with enough realistic levels to make the game seem believable. The more recent Call of Duty games, they're fun, but they're not, they don't deserve the term military first person shooter in their name at all, because they're really not. They're Michael Bay films in video game form. Call of Duty 4, I think, struck the perfect balance between over the top set piece moments and realistic gunfights. It was a great game. 
So there you have it, folks, a retrospective look back at Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. If you enjoyed what you saw, why not leave a like, maybe a share and a favorite if you really enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned right here for more videos like this in the future. And in the meantime, I am Alecman98 here, or Alec if you prefer, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, baby, baby